Hi everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Okay, so let's get straight into the game again. So I'm gonna have a wee sleep here first. Uh, so we go daylight, so we're not attacked by monsters. There we go, break that. Uh, okay, let's have a look. First thing I always do is come straight out and have a look around just to make sure there's no monsters about. Uh, there's a couple of wee things about there. There's our wee boat. Now, we do need to dump all our stuff into these chests and then go over and back, go and back, over and back to collect all our other stuff. So I think well, that's what we'll do. We'll move everyone over here first and then we'll build around it. So what I'm going to do is... Have we got any more wood? No. I'm just going to put everyone in it. I'm not going to bother taking the tools because I don't want to no, like, risk losing them. That's wrong. Um, I don't want to risk uh, losing them. I'm just going to put everything in it. And the only thing I'll take is this and some food. Those are the only two things we'll take. And I do need to get lights up along here. It'll not be long before there's monsters spawn. Don't want that. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's go. Now there is a wee village over there, but we might get that either in the end of this here episode or uh, in the next episode. It looks like there's two villages. It looks like there's one there and then another one on top. So we'll have a look later. What's this here, actually? Let's go over to this while we're passing just to have a wee nosy. Just to see what it is. But yeah, it's going to be look so cool up there. And we're at a good enough height as well for everything, so yeah. We're good. Oh, I think it might be a ship. Maybe we've already done this one. Yeah, I think we've done this one. I can see a chest here. Yeah, now we've done that one. I wonder if there's another one. be a second one about somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we've done this one so it's okay. Oh, it's pointing this up. Yeah, we've yeah, we've got that one. Uh what the hell is this we picked up? Huh? I don't need any of that. Don't need that, that, suspicious stew, I don't know what that does. But it doesn't sound, it sounds very suspicious. <laughs> I, I don't want to take it and now giving us some, um, actually let me just quickly, as I hold down W here, and see if I can try using my phone at the same time. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is just going to quickly Google, and I'm going to try and steer this in a direction, and also use the same key at the same time. And I'm going to type in Minecraft. Uh, I think we're going in the right direction. Let me just turn it away. But Minecraft is suspicious. Suspicious stew. Um, so it can give the player a status effect that depends on the flower used to craft it. Suspicious stew is the only food item. What does it say? What else does it say there? Suspicious stew is any food that can give the player satisfaction that depends on the flower used to craft it. Obtaining the suspicious stew is only it cannot be obtained from the creative inventory, however, it can be either. But what's the effects? Uh, eating one restores six. And gives a seconds of the status effect, they're very dependent on which flowers use. Create the effect. 
tool tip, texture, etc. for making it. Uh, oh, apparently it is actually supposed to be very good. Although if you use it with tulips, it gives you weakness. Right, so maybe, maybe we will hold on to it next time we find it. We could go back and get it. It'll probably still be there. But it is, as it says, suspicious. And um, I think we have to go this way here. We go to this as far as I remember. Right, I'm just trying to get a wee tissue here. Right, okay, so we'll go in through here and then we take a right, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. The sooner we get this, the better. Also, we need to go to the, uh, the nether. Uh, I do want to get some uh, quartz. For the light sensor. Shit. Uh, I have to go around this way. Wee. So much better. This way. It crashed the last time we were here. That kind of rubber band was the better. So, what we'll do is we'll um, park it here and walk straight to it. And we'll get them. Um, do, do these produce honey? Where do you collect the honey? Where the hell is it? That's weird. Right, uh, we'll run down here and get this stuff. Uh, oh dear, we have quite a lot of stuff to take here. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll dismantle... Have we got any pickaxes? No, but I'll tell you what we will do. We'll take everything from this chest first. And then Evan from I just wanna get this here. I wanna start breaking stuff here. Oh Oh dear. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh hmm. uh, let's take this here. Why did I not get it to go into this? Doesn't make any sense. Well, I suppose it's all come with us anyway, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take it all with us. It's all come with us anyway. And take this away. And this one. And here, and in there. There we go. And it looks like we ran out of space. That'll do. Alright, okay, so we just have to get the rest of all that and all of this here. And we've got two chests on us, so we can, you know, take it with us and add to the inventory storage. So we're going to have to make a few trips here.
Right. Whereabouts is this boat left? There it is. It's a wonder you can't see the torch from here. You should be able to. And now we head back. It's good to be distance away, but I do like the location and I hope everybody else does as well. I'm gonna make some nice, uh, I'm gonna make a nice wee base and I'll do a nice interior in it and all sorts of different things with it. I'm gonna build a nether portal. But I always build my nether portals, uh, what do you call it, a wee bit of a distance out from, you know, like in a separate room. In the base because the uh, if no like things come through it again it becomes a bit of an issue I'd love to go down in them ravines and look for diamonds and stuff and now we're doing the long drive back Couple of creepers. Need to farm creepers as well. And oh, geez, he's going mad. Must be the water. Um, I know the skeleton spawner over there is where it is, but um, we might find a spawner over close to where we are. Usually, they're not too far apart from each other. No, like from where you're you're located. Yes, they're a good wee distance about, but like I've often found, they're not too bad. There's the temple. I'm gonna do a way past just to see it. And there's a portal down there as well. Oh, there's something else down there. What's this? Something else down there. Uh, we don't have enough air to... At least we know where that is. Some iron there, so there is. Maybe we'll get it whenever we're like... Got more inventory space. But there's something else over there, see that? We like sort of thing over here. Let's have a look around. There's something else here. Yeah, that looks cool. What's this? Mm, nothing. It's good to have a wee look around just to see what else there is. There is something there though. What's that? Oh, whoa. There is something else down there. Must have a look. I'll we'll come back later. It's weird that you can just see stuff at night. Maybe it's in the gamma or something on my computer is just really high or something, but I don't know. Cause so remember Rust was one of the first games I noticed that the screen was a bit weird on it. Rust, night time, you can't even see a thing. No, it's like a black screen. But then whenever I changed screens. I don't know, they did say that they made changes to the uh, gameplay as well. I'm just wondering if it's a coincidence, the fact that you know, they've changed that and I was able to see in the dark and rust. Um, but before anybody asks, would I play rust? Only if I have 
somebody play in co-op like some of, one of my friends or something but the thing is uh, none of them are going back to the game anytime soon it is a good game and I do enjoy it it's just bit of a Oh, I need to be careful. Need bread. Oh dear. Now well, he's coming in. Inviting himself on in. Oh, look at my axe. Yeah, maybe we should take the um, sword with us next time. What's the. Why can't I put that? It used to be whenever you press that button to put all the stuff in at once. Should check if nothing coming down there, is there? That looks okay. Uh, right, we'll put these here out. I'm gonna mine this. How have I managed to do that? Since when have you been able to put two chests beside each other like that? Right, it looks like we're going to have to put this one in here. Oh, too far. Uh, it's just being particular now. Probably should have kept that bed there, but not to worry. Oh, I need more food. I'm gonna take the bread. Bread's good. And I'm there. And uh, bread. I should do. Plenty there. Um, we will get this here properly lit up. It's just temporary until we can get it sorted. Now there will be a couple of zombies out mounting out here. Oh, maybe not. And I need to move all the trees because it's the skeletons are going under them. What the? That's weird. We're weird just projecting me out of that. Fish. Yeah, I'd like to have a look at that village up there. I remember uh, uh, the last co-op world that me and my friends were playing. We think I think we had something like twenty-something bells all together. It was so funny because we had we had like a, a town center, and one of our friends had completely leveled out, you know, like a hill flat, and he put a big platform on it. And I just remember we filled the center of it with bells, and then I put a factory in one end, and that was our potion factory. And uh, the potion factory was actually quite successful. It made every single potion that was for 1.13 at the time. And um, it was like a vending machine. So you, you flick the page in the book to whatever potion you wanted and you press the button and it deposited it. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's that thing there. 
Maybe we'll have a look and see what it is. On top of it. shards what's it for block of um it's it makes a nice noise whenever you walk on it oh what does it do surface right uh, which way would we come from there oh that's where we were right okay so we continue this way there's yeah there's a temple there that's actually pretty cool so we found some uh, some blacks not sure what it's used for but we'll keep it anyway because it seems like a rare enough thing to find there I assume it will be for something good. I did read the wiki there the other day. Just to sort of keep on top of things. But I've kind of forgotten what most of it was. But then again I haven't really followed the Minecraft releases since 1.13. So I should actually read it from there onwards. Because just reading up on 1.19 is... Well it's okay but... Um... It'll only tell you what's coming out in that release, but it doesn't tell you anything else other than that. But I will certainly be updating the uh, series as we go along. So this is 1.19.41, I think. So we will be um, keeping the game updated. So you'll you'll notice that the version will change, but the actual series won't. Um, and I will mention that. Um, if there's an update, I'll just say what's been added in, and then we'll continue on. So, um, yeah, all oh, seems good. What I might actually do is we'll go over here, collect some stuff, and then we'll call it an episode when we get back. And then we'll resume what it is we're doing. But I love these here, big deep things. These are cool. And if you had on the water potion, it'd be brilliant. I think you need, I think I'm right in saying it's the puffer fish you need for that, but you need a fish. Which isn't hard, it's not that difficult to make underwater breathing. It just, we need gunpowder and we need redstone for to give the effects. Oh, and glowstone for the effects as well, so keep in mind. And also, I like bees and stuff. Do need to get the farms made, but the, I think that's the last thing we'll do. We will get them made eventually. Here we go. If we find a huge lava pool, we can use it for fuel for the um, automatic furnace that we'll be making. That's what I used to use. The thing was though, you had to take the stuff out. Pull this here up. Haven't gone over that direction yet, have we? No, we did, but we didn't go that far. I also need to get a map as well. I'll pull out here. Right. There it is. Let's get this one here first. I can kill something.
that's the best way of doing it and then just pull over whatever you can. I'll do. So we'll have to do it in stages. Yeah, see looking over that hill it gives the illusion that this is our land. But yeah, I, it is a nice area, it's just, there's nothing here that you can't get anywhere else. Yes, I know, it looks like a nice location and all that, but like, there it is. It's a nice location and all, but it's just, the other place was much nicer. Got that big cave, and like, it looks like a bad cave. Now if we make the, uh, if we make the uh, cave bit, you know, the, the cove or whatever you call that bit, down the water, if we make that nice and wide and make it a bit more symmetric, but make it look sort of natural, we could use it to park the boat up there and then have a set of stairs that spiral the whole way up. Or we could put like a, a rail system that will spiral us up. Yeah. You can lift, sort of a thing. But yeah. I do love mods, but God, do I miss them so much in this here. There is the, uh, what do you call it, Bellcraft mod and Steve Cart Steve's carts. Love them so much. They are, like, those are the two mods that I would just have on their own in the series. And they're just so good. Anybody that's watched my other series, the modded survival that I played in 1.12.2, would have seen just how good those mods were and the reasons why I... Like, I favour them over most mods. It's just so, so good to add so much to the game. Yeah, like, you can run a fa like a, a factory in it. You can run a... Um, you can run a quarry automatically mine. Yes, yeah, it sounds a bit cheaty the way it is, but... It means that you can go and do other things while it's, you know, working away at mining stuff up and it's not like as if it's no like oh it's free stuff no you have to keep those engines powered the engines powering the choir they need to be powered with either coal or charcoal or like bucket of lava and you would have seen it it is fairly tedious yeah there's a little big gap in the sea I'm glad now they've added all this here stuff to the game because I remember any time you went out to the sea and especially in the old versions of Minecraft, all it was was sand and gravel and maybe a bit of cobblestone. But this is so much better because you've got big deep, you know, things running through the ground. You've got all this different stuff. It just adds a bit more to the game. You know, like in terms of like exploring and different things like that. Just so cool. But I wonder what putting a glass house would be like under it because all the other versions of Minecraft it was a bit bleh. it was a bit you no know, crap you couldn't see out now if you had like a glass house and you looked out through the glass all you see was just blue but it'd be kind of cool if you could see like the whole you know, like around you must try that out in creative mode just to see what it looks like and it's dark as well so I'll tell you what we'll do we'll sleep um, before we get over I know the monsters are going to spawn on top of it. But yeah. Maybe we'll pull it over here. And we'll sleep and go over. And so long as there's no monsters about. We'll do it here. Now I'll call it an episode. Oh! They just seem to spawn out of nowhere. There's something glittering over there. See, just over there. What is that? Where did I see that glitter? It's really weird. Ah, there's them buggers there.
I'm gonna try and get them. Oh, did I get out? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Are you serious? How did they get me from that distance? I thought it was well out of their range there. Oh no! Well, that's so disappointing. That's the first time now we've died in the whole game. All because of a pillager. Oh, that's rank. We have to go that whole distance again. Oh, no way. I shouldn't have done that. I, that's that's uh, like a rookie mistake, that. Is, you no know, like attacking something when you have loads of stuff on you. We need to go back and get all that stuff. They'll probably be long gone by the time we get back, but, you know, like despawn issues and stuff. Not an issue, but like... Oh no. That's a bit grim now. That's like the first time we've died is because of a pillager and thinking that we were well out of range. But what is the range of a pillager anyway? Oh, It's a shame really. It's a good job we weren't playing in hardcore mode. I suppose if it was hardcore mode I wouldn't have gone anywhere near them. Especially with you know, the armour we had on us but I suppose it is what it is. Yeah we'll head back. As soon as we get all the stuff we'll uh, call it an episode. Just hope we get there in time. I do remember, <laughs> I always tell this story every time I play this game, I do remember the time that I, prior to recording, I just on my own, uh, just my own gameplay, I was playing Minecraft, and it was back in 1.7.10, I think it was. That was my other favourite uh, game mode as well. A load of stuff came out, and especially mods, it was so good for mods. But it was this, uh, it was like a survival island, it was a seed, I can't remember where it was, but if you do like a Google search for like a survival island, um, you'll find plenty of them, and it's literally just an island and slap banging over with a single tree in the middle of it. And done very well the first couple of, you no know, Minecraft days on it. Done very well, got all this and that, and that was alright. I was moving all the chests about, you no, know, just organising the next thing. Uh, was it a skeleton or a zombie killed me? down in the caves where I was going but the thing was all the stuff came out and landed on the floor and back then your stuff didn't float it always fell to the bottom and my way down to retrieve the stuff I got killed again by a skeleton or something when I got back all my stuff was completely despawned all of it was gone I thought well this is not bad no like it was only like I only started out like within the first or second minecraft day I swear to god I picked up whatever I had left and I got up to the, got up back up to the overground again. I says, oh I need to make another crafting table here because I've lost the other one. I had no wood. And, oh, I didn't realise I got that close to that. I'll we'll keep right away from that. It'll uh, wear off now soon enough. Um, I had no wood. And all the saplings that I had lifted from the single tree had despawned with the rest of the stuff. I never even planted them down again. That was a rookie mistake. Uh, cutting down a tree and not planting saplings back down again as soon as they were cut. So, what I had to do was, I had no boat, I had no wood for making a boat. What I had to do was, I had to go and swim by hand to an island, no like to a, like an another world I am not joking when I say this it was hey I spent about an hour just holding down the W key and the space button just looking for a world and it, it really was so so far away I just remember as soon as I seen land I was like oh my god it was that but what made things I suppose in somewhat worse was it was land but not the land we wanted it was um sand so there was no trees all there was was cactus Oh, I couldn't believe there was diamonds there as well. Didn't even realise that. Right. 
Ah, uh, under our levels reset as well. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, better put our stuff on. I think that's everything, isn't it? We we're missing something because we we did have a full. Ah, there it is, the bread. And here's the experience points. Right, we're back up to seven. That's not too bad. We haven't made a uh, what do you call it? What's this? Um. Oh, we've sticks on us that we don't need. All right. I think that's pretty much it, yeah. We'll leave that boat. Don't need it. But yeah, um the so that is five land that I was on. Um ended up having to go for an hour looking for the land and when I got to land it was a desert so <laughs> I had to walk a bit further to go and look for um trees. And then when I got it made a boat and sailed back and yeah, it didn't take as long. But I remember that was the that was the f one of the first worlds where I had mods. So, what I'd done was I set up Steve's carts where you can make, you no know, like tunnels. And I set a tunnel to go straight back to where it was, because I knew where land was. I didn't venture out to see if there was anywhere closer. I just didn't want to do it. I just knew where everything sort of was. So I went back to that beach, back to that uh, desert. And we set up a second base there. And a rail cart going between the two. Rail cart going between the island and the mainland. Um, can't remember if I ever did actually venture out to see if there was anything closer. You know, so like say for example instead of heading say north and spending an hour going to it, I'm wondering if there was like a, a place any closer but I don't think I ever did. But I remember people saying in the comments, you know like the, the nearest low land, <coughs> nearest land was you no know, good distance away to the point that it wasn't even worth leaving your island. You know, you're better just doing everything underground. like all your stuff you're looking for was underground. Um, anybody that watched uh, Gingecast with Hayden and uh, Sam I think it was um, they I need the bag they um, done an underground survival series as well still remember clear as day it was very good and we need the bread. Just gonna keep that on us. That bit. Um, actually, no. We'll call it an episode. No point heading back over. Um, on this one here. Okay. So that. What is that? Actually, where? How do we see potion effects? Is there no? There used to be a thing where it showed you no. What what potions you had, effects on you, and how long they lasted for. Doesn't seem to be anything on there. Um, but yeah, no, we'll uh, call that an episode. Uh, very, very productive. Uh, have we been over there yet? I'm not sure. I am very tempted to raise the um, field of distance. Oh, not field of view. The um, render distance so that we can see a lot more. But yeah, we'll worry about that in the next episodes or so. Okay, so that's it for this here episode. Thanks very much for watching. Any comments, any suggestions at all, do drop them down below or visit Discord channel that's linked in the description. For Discord channel, for the schedule as well as the information board, there you'll be able to see when the games are coming out onto YouTube as well as what games we will be playing in the future. If you are enjoying the content, do consider subscribing if you haven't and drop us a like if you're enjoying what you're seeing. It does help show what people are interested in the most and I'll try and focus on those areas a bit more in the future. But other than that, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators. You help make these videos possible.